Hello guys, it's Marek here and this is episode 125, 125 of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Welcome and in this episode I want to show you something amazing in Photoshop this time. Just a couple of days ago Adobe announced updates to Photoshop CC and there are some amazing new features. I'm going to show you one this week and I'm going to show you another one next week in the next episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. What I want to show you is some amazing new features when it comes to smart objects. Now, this is only for Photoshop CC users because this is, these are only updates for Photoshop on Creative Cloud. So if you're not on Creative Cloud, go to creative.adobe.com and sign up. You can, Adobe are having some great uh, discounts for existing customers or even for new customers, so have a look on that. Now, here's what I want to show, show with you this week. I've got this poster here that I've been working on with the delegates on one of my courses here. Okay, I'm just going to make a few changes here. I'm going to remove this circle just for a second. It goes to the bin as well, right? We were trying to recreate this uh, poster that I saw in one of the magazines for Fuji, which, by the way, makes fantastic compact cameras. And here's what I want to show you. I'm going to maybe remove the image of the back of the camera as well. So I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to delete it, okay, so it's gone. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the image of the back of the camera as a smart object. And the way, well, there's a number of ways you can do it. For example, you could drag and drop the image from mini bridge into an existing design. or you could just use File menu and then Place. However, now, first thing you notice is I've got a keyboard shortcut. Yes, because I've been using keyboard shortcut because I use File Place uh, quite a lot. But what's changed now in the latest update to Photoshop CC on Creative Cloud is now we have two options, Place Embedded and Place Linked. So which one to use? Now, the way it used to work up until now, the way it works for C Photoshop CS6 and earlier users is when you place a f an image, it becomes an embedded smart object. It's embedded within your document, right? But now you have the ability to link as an image as a smart object. It's a bit like working with Adobe InDesign where when you import images, or even when you place an image, you've got file place in InDesign as well, as far as I know. <laughs> and when you place an image, it's become, well, it's linked to the InDesign document. And now we have this feature in Photoshop CC, which is amazing. So here's how it works. If I go to file and place linked, then I'm going to pick an image. So Fuji camera back, this one here, and I'll click place. Now this is quite large, so I'm going to scale it down a bit. I'll just click on the chain icon so I don't have to hold the shift key down. And I'll make it just a bit smaller. It should have been somewhere here. If I just zoom in a bit, just so you can see clearly what I'm doing here. I'll make it a bit smaller, I'll put it down a bit. Something like that. And I'll click on the tick, op a tick icon in the options bar to accept it. Now it becomes a smart object. Okay. However, if you look in the Layers panel, the Smart Object icon looks a bit different. It's got this chain icon here. It is a Smart Object thumbnail, but it's got a chain icon. So it's linked. And here's how this is going to work now. Because it's linked, because this image is linked to my design, if I make some changes to this image, in theory, it should update. Let's have a look. Now, I'm going to save this advert and close it for a moment. So, close that, save it, yes. And I'll open the image of the camera. Oh, by the way, can you see this icon here in the mini bridge? Showing you that this design has a linked smart object. 
So I'm going to make some edits to this camera. Now this is a PNG file, so I'm not going to use any layers. So I'll just use image, adjustment, and here's, here's saturation. I'm going to colorize it. I'm going to change the color of the camera. Let's see what we can get here. Maybe this nice, maybe make it nice and green. Let's be eco-friendly. <laughs> and I'll click OK. Now, because I don't really want to change that, I'm going to keep it open, so I can always undo, and I'll just save it. File, save. So it's saved, it's still a PNG file, but I'll be able to undo and then save it so it's back to its original state. Now, let's say you open the design you're working on. Now, by the way, this can work with as many designs as you want. One of the great features of placing linked smart objects is you can use the same image in multiple designs like this image of the camera for example and once you change it you should be able to update it in all of the designs or whichever this design you want okay so if i reopen this design actually i can go to mini bridge and double click on it to open it nothing happened really no let's zoom in no nope, the camera still looks exactly the same However, if you look in the Layers panel, here at the bottom, the Smart Object thumbnail has this exclamation point here, that icon here, right? So, what it means is this image has changed, and you can decide whether you want to update it or not. How do you do, go about it? Well, you just right-click on the layer, and you can choose Update modify, Modified Content, or you can even update all modified content. If you made changes to multiple layers, you can update them all at one go. I'm just going to use update modified content, look at the camera, and here you go, and the camera is green. Great, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to leave you with one more tip before we leave. Now, okay, so now we can use file place linked, to place a linked smart object, image as a smart object, right? But what if you prefer to do the usual drag and drop, something like that? Well, there's another way of doing it. I'm going to drag that to the bin. Here's what else you can do. You can use mini bridge, and you can drag and drop the image from the mini bridge. However, before you release the mouse button, hold the Alt key down on your keyboard. And with the ALT key down, you release the mouse button, and then you release the ALT key down. Okay? And now, it becomes a linked smart object as well. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. This was uh, episode 125 of Photoshop Lightroom TV. New linked smart objects in Photoshop. This was the main theme of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want some more tips, tricks, and tutorials about Photoshop, remember you can watch my YouTube channel. Just search for my videos. Also, have a look at my book, Transform Your World with Adobe Photoshop CS6 and CC. You can buy it from every good bookstore, Amazon, and anywhere online. Also from my website at saitraining.co.uk or marekmulacic.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and till next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.